right now, I hope. This very hour, something good is going to happen to you. Jesus from Nazareth is passing Do you know my Jesus? Oh, do you know my wonderful friend? Have you heard God really loves you and his love? Touch me. Oh, he touched me. And oh, the joy that floods my soul. Well, something wonderful happened. And by a heavy burden bent beneath my guilt and my shame then the hand of the Savior touched me well praise God I am no longer the same sing along he touched me Oh, he touched me, and oh, the joy that floods my soul, something happened, and I know he touched me, and Forget that wonderful hour when I felt his power and I prayed through. All oh, heaven came down and glory abounded. Well, heaven's angels all resounded when I prayed through. And now, well, I'm his. He is mine. Blessed, assured, and so divine. I'm feasting on God's living word since I prayed through. And I, I can't explain just how I feel. Oh, but praise God, I know it's real. I'm glad I stayed down on my knees till I prayed through. And I never forget that wonderful hour when I felt his power and I prayed through. All heaven came down and glory abounded. Heaven's angels all resounded. When I prayed through And I'm free From the fears The fears of tomorrow Well, I'm free From the guilt of my past But I trade in my shame 
shackles for a glorious song. Well, I'm free, praise the Lord, I'm free at last. While I'm just doing choruses, I might as well do this one. It says, joy, real joy, God's wonderful, wonderful joy. Well, it's flooding the depths of my soul And it's a joy that brings peace and contentment God's wonderful, wonderful joy Where's it come from? Joy. The whole world chases around and around and around looking for joy. There are people tonight that will spend $100, $150 that they can't afford to spend. Running here, driving, spend $50 on a meal somewhere just because it's got low lights and one thing or another. And go home not, not any joy, not any happier than when they went out. Let me read to you, will you, from one of my favorite passages. It comes naturally from the singer of the of the Bible. There were many singers, but David was the chief, I think. And it's the 32nd Psalm. Listen, what happiness for those whose guilt has been forgiven. What joys when sins are covered over. What relief for those who have confessed their sins and God has cleared their record. There was a time when I wouldn't admit what a sinner I was, and my dishonesty made me miserable, filled all my days and nights with frustration. Day and night, God's hand was heavy on me, and my strength evaporated like water on a sunny day. Hey, it did, too. I used to take 30 milligrams of dexedrine two hours before I had to get up, just so I could face the alarm to start the day. Now, that's not in here. That's, I'm just throwing that in on the side there. I don't guess David had dexedrine. But he said his strength evaporated like water on a sunny day. I know exactly what he meant. And it kept on until... Now we'll pick up with the psalmist again. Until I finally admitted all my sins to you and stopped trying to hide them. I said to myself, I will confess them to the Lord. And he forgave me. And my guilt is gone. And now I'd like to say that each believer should confess his sins to God when he's aware of them. While there is time to be forgiven, judgment will not touch him if he does. Father, you are my hiding place from the storms of life. I like this, this next phrase, it says, you even keep me from getting into trouble. You surround me with songs of victory. You say you'll instruct me and guide me along the best pathway for my life. You say you'll advise me and watch my progress. You advise me not to be like a senseless horse or mule that has to have a bit in its mouth to keep it in line. Well, friends, sorrows come to the wicked, but abiding love surrounds those who trust in the Lord, so rejoice in him all those who are his and shout for joy those who try to obey him well i found happiness i found peace of mind i found the joy of living perfect love sublime i found real contentment happy living in accord I found happiness all the time, wonderful peace of mind when I found my Lord. I'm so happy with my brand new melody. I have found that life can be a symphony. Looking forward to that happy jubilee. Wondrous symphony all the time, melody so divine. Since I found the Lord, sing it, I found happiness. I found peace of mind. I found the joy of living perfect. Love sublime, I found real contentment. Happy living in a corn. I found happiness all the time, wonderful peace of mind when I found the Lord. 
I did find that 10 years ago, just a little over 10 years ago now. Let me tell you where I was, I'll tell you what I gave up to serve the Lord. I was sick three to six months a year. My wife and children had left me. I was bankrupt. I had lost the house across from the lakes, the Lincoln Continentals, and we were reduced prior to Laura's leaving to living on the back of a friend's lot in one room with no running water. And I gave up all of that to serve Jesus Christ. I found health, happiness, a new family. Oh no, same wife and kids. They just seemed new to me because I got straightened around when I got saved. He put the home back together. We're, sometimes I'm almost embarrassed because quite seriously, our home is, is uh, almost so happy that I wonder if there isn't something wrong with me or wrong with them or something. I can't quite figure it out. Bill's song says it's much better. He says, if he keeps on blessing and blessing, if he keeps on pouring it on, <laughs> if his love just keeps getting richer, if he keeps on giving a song, if my cup gets fuller and fuller, if my prayers keep on getting through, if it keeps getting better and better, oh Lord, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Now when I gave my heart to Jesus, when I claimed him as my king, when the guilt and all the gloom were lifted, well, my old heart just started to sing. Then the song kept on getting bigger, Till it thrilled my soul through and through If it keeps getting better and better Oh Lord, I don't know what I'm gonna do If it keeps getting better and better Oh Lord, I don't know what I'm gonna do If it keeps getting better and better Oh Lord <laughs> I really don't I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm so glad I'm a part of the family of God. I've been washed in the fountain, cleansed by His blood, joined as with Jesus as we travel with sun. Oh, I'm a part of the family, the family of God. Something that money can't buy. I found a gold mine beyond the blue sky. I found a land where I live when I die. I found the Lord, a rich man am I. People may say that I've been dreaming a bit, but I believe what I'm believing and I'm not gonna quit. The Bible says that I'll live when I die. I found the Lord, a rich man am I. I found a song that the angels just can't sing. I found a way to be rich as a king. I found a land where teardrops are dry. I found the Lord, a rich man am I. People may say that I've been dreaming a bit, but I believe what I'm believing that I'm not going to quit. The Bible says that I live when I die. I found the Lord, a rich man am I. <laughs> Isn't it fun being saved? <laughs> well, years of time have come and gone. Since I first heard it told that Jesus would come again one day. Now, if back there when I was a kid in Sunday school it seemed so real, then I just can't help but feel how much closer is coming in. Signs of the time not everywhere. Oh, there is a 
says violence and hatred and discord will soon fill every land. And yet, there are still people who doubt he'll ever come again. Ah, oh, but the word, God's word is true, gentlemen. He will redeem his chosen few. Don't lose hope, friend. Ah, soon Christ Jesus will descend signs of the time then everywhere and there is that brand new excitement filling all the air so keep your Upon that eastern sky, Christian, lift up your head, your redemption draweth about the gear of F, David, if you will. Just give me a minute. I always know what I'm going to do. And the longer I serve him, well, the sweeter he grows, the more Every day is like heaven And my heart overflows The longer I serve him Ah, the sweeter he grows Every he is supplying plenteous grace he bestows every day when my way gets brighter the Every day is like heaven And my heart overflows The longer I serve him All the sweeter he My 
There'll be no more traffic out there in our streets. All the builders' tools will be silent. No more time to harvest your wheat. Busy housewives, you'll have had the seashore labors. And in our great courtrooms, there'll be no more debate. Work on this old earth will one day be suspended as our king comes through the gate. Eager faces line the hallways, those whose lives have been redeemed. Broken homes like Laura's and mine that he's mended, those from prison that he's freed. And the children the aged hand in hand they'll stand glow 
friend, those who are crippled and broken and ruined. One of these days, they'll be clad in garments, white as snow, and I can hear God's chariots rumble. I can see the marching throng, the flurry of his trumpets, spell the end of sin and wrong. Robes are now unfolding. Heaven's grandstands are all in place. Heaven's choir is now assembled. Listen, you can hear them singing Amazing Grace. Well, the King is coming. The King is coming. I just heard the trumpet sounding, and now his face I see. The King is coming. The King. Is coming, well, praise God, He's coming for me. Well, the King is coming, the King is coming. I just heard His trumpet sounding, and now His face I see. Our King is coming, the King is coming, well, praise God. He's coming for me. Well, the king, he's coming. The king is coming. I just heard his trumpet sounding. King is coming. The King is coming. Well, praise God. He's coming for me. Tell everybody, Jesus Christ is King. Well, get all excited. Go tell everybody that Jesus Christ is King. Jesus Christ is still King of Kings. Get all excited. Go tell everybody that Jesus Christ is King. Get all excited. Go tell everybody that Jesus Christ is King. Get all excited, go tell everybody that he-
Jesus Christ is King. Jesus Christ is still King of Kings. You talk about people. You talk about things that really, they aren't important at all. You talk about the weather. You talk about problems we have here at home and abroad. Friend, I'm excited about life's solution. I'm gonna shout and sing. Jesus Christ is still King of Kings. Get all excited, go tell everybody that Jesus Christ is King. Get all excited, go tell everybody that Jesus Christ is King. Get all excited, go tell everybody that Jesus Christ is King. Jesus Christ is still King of Kings. Jesus Christ is still King of Kings. Now, Heavenly Father, we've come here tonight, a needy people. Lord, there, there are as many needs represented here as there are people. We've come a joyful people, most of us, because we've learned even in the midst of our needs and in the midst of the heartaches and heartbreaks, most of us here have learned that these are part of the all things that work together for our good because we have been called according to your purpose. We love to do what you would have us do. But it doesn't change our needs any. It doesn't change the burdens in our heart. But they're still there. The way we face them is different. We'd like to ask the Lord for some miracles in this service. There are some parents here who are very burdened about their children. There are probably some young people here burdened for their parents. We'd like to see something happen in those homes. We'd like to see your love made manifest so that a home that's been separated and torn apart by strife and bickering and argument might be reunited because of your love. Help those of us who, have, who feel like we've been wrong to go back and, and ask our parents or our children to forgive us. Not to qualify it, not to go back and argue about it and get started again, but just to go back and ask for forgiveness for our attitude. Help us to realize that that becomes a healing force in our lives. There are people here tonight in pain, Lord. They need to feel a healing touch too. Not a, not a healing of spirit, but they need to feel a healing of body. And that's important to you. There are people here tonight whose finances are out of control. They, they're spending more money than they ought to spend trying to keep up with the Joneses. They don't have enough left to to give to you. They need, they need a touch of thy healing power too. They need to feel a healing in their, in their wants and their desires. They need to realize that you will guide them in the ways they spend their money. You will guide them, help them to be good stewards of that which comes into their hands. Lord, there's so many things we just really don't know what to ask for. And so we pray right now as we we sit here in thy midst, that thy spirit, thy spirit will work in each of our lives. May we hear not just the words of a singer, but may we hear divine words from thee. May we hear each of us in our own heart what it is we need to hear. And we'll give your name the praise for anything that might be accomplished because Quite simply, without you, nothing will be accomplished. Have your way in the remaining moments of this service, we pray. We'll give your name the praise for anything that might be accomplished. For we ask it in your name and in the name of your Son, Jesus. Amen. I don't know why. I just, this is a, you're a great bunch of people tonight. For some reason or other, you've got me all mushed up inside. I'm glad you came. And I, I really feel like some of you are going to go out of here different people from when you came in tonight. I hope God will deal in a very special way with, with your lives.
I don't read music. I didn't intend to go into church music. Uh, I didn't intend to go into church work of any kind. I was a psych major, not because I wanted to help people, but because I was trying to figure out what made me tick. And I didn't learn that either. But uh, somebody always comes up for the last uh, 20 years, I've made my living in music, and somebody always comes up after a concert and says, Doug, uh, I've just written a great new song. I have never had anybody come up and say, I've just written a mediocre song. They're always great new songs. And they say, will you uh, read through it and see what you think? I used to take the time to explain as I'm explaining to you. Now I do it publicly, and then it saves me a lot of time afterwards. I, I just don't read. But anymore, if you come up afterwards and say, look, will you look over this? I will. I'll look over it. Way over it. I got out Fox the other day. I was down in Lake Charles, Louisiana. A friend of mine came up. She said, Brother Smugly, uh, I know you don't read music. Here are some words. I'm even having trouble reading words now unless my arm is clear out here. Uh, some of you know what that means, too. But uh, it's either glasses or longer arms. I don't know which for long here. But anyhow, I took her words, and when we went to London, we recorded them. Now when Paul and Silas were in jail, they prayed, sang a song. What a glad refrain that must have been. They sang, we won't be in here long. Old Daniel there in that lion's den, his faith in his God was strong. So I fancy he probably also sang, I won't be in here long. I won't be in here long. I won't be in here long. Oh, joy profound, well, I'm heaven bound, and I won't be in here long. Old Jonah swallowed by the whale repented of his wrong and his heart was filled so he could sing I won't be down here long that fiery furnace did contain three Hebrews fair and young then Christ appeared and gave them a song they sang we won't be in here long we won't be in here long we won't be in here long oh joy profound well I'm and we won't be in here long Then these prison walls of human clay With their fetters held me strong Till Christ came in and now I can sing Ah, oh, friend, I won't be down here long I won't be down here long I won't be down here long Oh, joy profound, well, I'm heaven bound And I won't be down here long oh, no. I won't be down here long. I won't be down here long. In the dark of the midnight, have I oft hid my face? While life storms howl above me, there's no hiding place. Mid the crash of the thunder, precious Lord, hear my cry. Keep me safe till life's storm passes by. Till the storm passes over, till the thunder sounds no more, till the clock. storm passes by many times Satan whispered there's no need for you to try he says there's no end to sorrow and there's no hope for me by and by ah but I know my Lord is with me and tomorrow clouds never darken my sky till the storm 
class is over Till the thunder sounds no more Till the clouds roll forever from the And he'll do it. I don't care what the storm in your life may be. God will bring you through. He not only brings you through, it seemed like to me, and at least in my life it's been true, he brings you out, like a friend of mine over in Ohio said, he brings you out with a high hand, with a hand raised in victory. Richard Wormbrand, I never sing that song, but what I think of Dick Wormbrand. Suffered, I suppose, as much as nearly any man on earth has ever suffered. He was a prisoner of the communists for some 17 years. Three of those years spent in solitary confinement. Uh, he said the worst thing that they did to him was when they took his Bible away from him after several years. They, they found out that there was a source of strength there they didn't comprehend, and they took the word away from him. He was telling one night about a sadistic guard. It was the middle of the winter and they were beneath ground in a stone cell. And the guard would come in many times drunk, force them to lie on the floor, and he'd walk on their backs with hobnailed boots and do a dance of his own. And Wormbrand said there was one night when he thought he'd just have to cry out and recant. He just felt like he couldn't go on. He said the man next to him said, Wormbrand. Dick Wormbrand said painfully, moved his head, though his vision was glazed and he had trouble seeing. The man next to him seemed to be smiling through the haze of his own eyes, and he said, Wormbrand, I've just written a great new song about Jesus. Wormbrand said, I thought, man, if somebody can write about Jesus, if he can write a song when he's been tortured like I have, then I can at least hold on till morning. God will see you through the storms of life. Dick Wormbrand's one of the happiest men I've ever met in my life. He and his wife. There's something about this old book. The power there. I'm just learning about it. That's a terrible thing to admit after following the Lord as best you, you can for each day, at least feeling like you do, and then at the end of ten years, all of a sudden the books become, begin to come alive for me. And I, I've taken to reading it in every concert, no matter who I'm singing for, whether it's for the JCs or the Kiwanis or the Lions or a high school or a college or in Washington for some of the things we do there or in a church. I started toward the platform, oh, it's been several weeks ago now, South Bend, Indiana. A woman stopped me and she said, I see you have your Bible. I said, yes. She said, do you remember signing my son's Bible? And I didn't. I should have. When she described him to me, I'm sure there's never been a more handsome young man in the world or perhaps a more intelligent young fellow. But I still didn't remember signing the book. And she said, well, she said, Doug, you did sign it. Said he took it to school with him and into the service with him. And when he was transferred to Vietnam, he wrote home and said, Mom, it was one of the first things I packed. She dropped her head, and I was afraid I saw something coming, and I did. When she looked up, there were tears in her eyes, and she said, The other day, I got his Bible back and a few other things, and they tell me that's all that's going to be coming home. And I don't know how you are in that situation. I never quite know what to say. I'm just never quite sure. I mean, you can quote scripture, but it, it, she let me off the hook very easily. She said, don't you remember what you wrote under your name? I said, yes. Before I could even get the passage out, she started to quote it. For we know that all things work together for good to them who love God, called according to his purpose. And she was smiling through her tears, and she said, I believe it. She said, he was serving God, he loved God, we're serving God, we love him. She said, I don't understand it yet, but I believe it with all my heart. 
As I turned to walk away from her, she stopped me one more time. She said, have you decided what you're going to read tonight? I said, no. She said, would you read his favorite passage? Would you read the shepherd's psalm just for me tonight? And I read it that evening, and she was sitting about five rows out. And I'd look up every once in a while, and the tears would be running down her face. But the smile of victory was there. Because the Lord is my shepherd, I have everything I need. He lets me rest in the meadow grass and leads me beside a quiet stream. He restores my failing health and helps me do that which honors him the most. And even when walking through the dark valley of death, I don't have to be afraid for you are close beside me, guarding and guiding all the way. You provide delicious food for me in the presence of mine enemies. You welcome me as your guest, and my blessings overflow. Your goodness and unfailing kindness shall be with me all of my life. And afterwards, I will live with you forever in your great home. will follow me all the days, all the days of my life. He's the Savior my soul Jesus Jesus He is the Savior of my soul He's the Savior of my soul, Jesus, Jesus, the Savior of my soul. Will you bow your heads for a moment? These few brief moments allowed me here I've tried to share with you just tonight the joys of serving Jesus Christ. I haven't talked a lot. I wish there was some way that I could sit down with each one of you. And in a language that you, that you could understand, not that you don't understand English, but in a, in a heart language that, you could, uh, that would reach your heart from mine to yours. 
I wish I could assure you that Jesus Christ cares very definitely what happens to you. There's some families here, some husbands and some wives. I, w I would give anything I own if I could sit down with you and really be able to communicate to you what God could do, what he wants to do for your marriages. There's some young people here. What I would give if I could somehow help you to realize that if, if you'll give God your life now, what a, a tremendous impact on the world you can have if you will simply say, Lord, I need your wisdom. I need your guidance in my life. How wise to go to the creator of everything we know for guidance for our lives and to go when we're young instead of waiting as I did till I was 32. All across this country, I've asked a question. I'm not going to ask it of you tonight, but I've asked over and over and over again, different audiences here, there, and yonder. How many of you wish you'd waited to give your life to Christ until you were older than you were when you made that decision? I've never yet found anybody who said, I wish I had waited. I've found a lot of people who said, oh, if I'd only done it sooner. But we're here and we're now. And I cannot sit down with you individually or with husbands and wives. I can't sit down individually with young people or older folk. I can't sit down with those of you who are just beginning to be involved in what you may think is an innocent flirtation that is going to destroy all that you hold near and dear. I wish I could. I've been down that road and it is not a joyful road and it's dangerous. You say, oh, there's nothing to it. It's a beginning. But I can't sit down with you. About the only thing that I can do is to promise you that if you have a need in your heart, I can pray for you. I may not know you by name. I may not even be able to call your face to my memory. But you see, God does know. He knows your name. He knows what you look at. He knows what you look like. He knows where you live. And he knows beyond that what is in your heart of hearts. So I'm going to ask you to be as honest with yourselves as you can. I'm going to ask you the question I've asked you the last couple of times I've been here, and that's a very simple question. Are you the person you want to be? Are you the person you know you were born to be? And if you aren't, do you want to change? Do you really have down in your heart of hearts a desire to be the, the person you know you can be? And if you have that desire, when are you going to change? Tonight can be a changing point, a turning point. You can make a decision tonight that will change not only this life, but eternity. If you will simply do it. God never, never fails. God never fails. He abides with me. Gives me victory. God never, never fails. Just keep your faith and never cease to pray. Just Morning, noon, day, and night, and he'll be there, he'll be there. There's no need for you to worry, for God never fails. Have faith.
in God Sing another verse, David. There'll be no sad farewells. There'll be no tear-stained eyes. There'll be no more heartache and no more grief. No more woe and there no shattered hopes. We'll I want you to learn a chorus. Now the fast crowds catch on right off the bat. We'll see how long it, well, we'll just see. Here it is, listen to it one time, one time through usually all it takes, it goes something like this. Oh, God's children, oh, God's children. Children, you've got to be born again. You got it? First of all, do you agree with it? Yeah. All right, that's better. Let's try it now. Oh, God, sing it. Oh, Sir, 
sermon number one of the evening. If you think you could make it just by going to church, you're kidding yourself. If you think you can make it by doing good works, you're still kidding yourself. If you think this thing of serving the Lord is just singing the choir, maybe sitting on the official board, you better find out what this thing's all about, friend. You've got to be born again. Sing it now. Put me in uh, B flat. I believe for every drop of rain that falls, a flower grows. I really don't believe that, but the rest of the song's not bad. I believe that somewhere in the darkest night, a candle glows. I believe for everyone who goes astray. Someone will come to show the way. I believe. I believe. I believe above life's storm, the smallest prayer will still be heard I believe that someone in the great somewhere hears every word every time I hear a newborn baby cry touch a leaf or see God's sky then I know Christ who was slain on that cross has the power to change lives today. You know why? Because he changed me completely. A new life is mine. And that's why
Father, we ask somehow that your spirit will find full sway in this service tonight. We came expectant, maybe too expectant. Maybe we haven't prayed enough. Lord, whatever is needed, we ask that somehow you'll give this service that plus factor. Lord, may we not waste one moment or may we not have one, one moment when there isn't an awareness, an extra awareness of thy divine love and care and keeping for each of us. Thank you, Father, for your gift of salvation, the gift of your Son, Jesus. Lord, if we ask amiss, forgive us. If we ask for things that we should not ask for, if we pray for things selfishly, if we ask for ourselves and not for our neighbor, lift this from our eyes help us see not my will but thine be done pray the master may this say This robe of flesh that I wear make me falter, guide my steps, hold my Hey. 
Take my hand, teach me, Lord, to understand all the duty, all the beauty. That your prayers may have been in vain, though the world your faith would destroy, and sometimes it seems that your heart. Will break into remember. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. They that sow in tears shall. If you've prayed till it seems that your heart would break, remember the words of the psalmist: "They that sow in tears shall reap." Stay.